Hey guys, today we are talking about chairs, particularly the chairs that I enjoy to use for camping and overlanding. That's next. Welcome to Backcountry Renegade, I'm Jeff. If you're new here, this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, overlanding, and all the gear in between. If you're interested in those things too, consider subscribing. Today we are talking about chairs, particularly the chairs that I enjoy to use for all my backpacking and camping needs. Now I went ahead and laid out various options that you do have when it comes to chairs or taking a seat when it comes to camping or overlanding. For instance, you have the normal big chair here that you know you can have at soccer games and it is uh, pretty big to carry. And uh, this is something that I used to carry in my Jeep, but uh, because of the size and everything, I definitely had to go with something else. This is a new chair that I like. This is from King Camp. And this is uh, one of their folding chairs that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Also, we have the Trekology chair here. This is a chair that I typically use for my backpacking. And this is a Helinox uh, Chair Zero here. And this is a pretty awesome uh, chair here. But it's not so much the chair I would choose for overlanding. And that'll become a little bit more obvious later. We also have here the uh, Thermarest Z Seat, which is also pretty nice but it's not something you're gonna use for overlanding. First off, we're gonna check out the Helinox Chair Zero, and this chair is relatively easy to set up. You have these poles, and they kind of just uh, have bungees in there, and they just fall into place. The chair material, you have this side up. Go ahead and put that in. At only a pound, it's a pretty awesome chair, but you can also see how low to the ground you are. Now, if you're sitting next to a campfire at, at camp, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, but if you're at a typical campsite, you have tables, you have things like that, this is gonna be a little bit low to the ground and it's not adjustable. But for backpacking, uh, this is a great chair for that. It keeps you off the ground and uh, keeps you relatively nice and dry. So a uh, great backpacking chair, not so great for camping or overlanding. The next chair is this Trekology chair. Now setup is very similar to the Helinox chair. The cool thing I like about this chair is it does have these adjustable legs. Now I like it right here in the middle, and, uh, but you can go lower, you can go, um, you can go higher if you want. And uh, that option is cool, but it does add to the weight. So something to consider. And so sets up very much like the Helinox, but you can see quite the size difference here between the two and it comes at the cost of weight. So this is about the, the height I like here, and uh, you can somewhat sit at a table if you had one out. It's gonna be a little bit higher up, but uh, it is doable, you can adjust it. Uh, you can lower it to sit at a campfire, make some s'mores. It does have these little pockets here where you can put uh, you know, some things in there, maybe a key. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting a beverage in here. Um, I have done that and they just tip on over very easily. So uh, not the most serious for that. So let's check out the King Camp High Slingback Chair. This was sent to me by the people over at Broad Out. And uh, the opinions though are my own as I could review it uh, however I would like. Brought Out is a company that has a lot of camping gear and accessories from all different sorts of brands together at one site. So be sure to check that out. I have a link in the description if you're interested. So you have the armrest. You want to put these aside. You'll set them up later. Take out the material here. Set that aside. And now you have just the poles. Poles snap in with bungees. Now you do want to put in the legs first. Now when it comes to the backrest, you have to put in the leg first because there's a hole here and the backrest won't go on unless the leg is in first. So it in just like that and the, leg goes, the backrest goes right over. Alright, so there you go. Now you'll want to angle the backrest arms here. You want to turn them this way. As you can see, they have a little bend on the lower part. All right, same with the arms. You want to turn those upward. All right, so once the arms are turned upward and the backrests are also bent in an upward direction here, you want to then put on the armrests. Put on the back part first. 
and then you can slide it over. You've got to pull it a little bit. Goes on over. And the armrests go on this outer post here. Next thing you want to put on the seat, the king can goes on top. And what I've found is the easier part is to put the bottom on first. So let's do that. And there you have it. So now you have your high slingback chair, which is pretty nice. And the cool thing is you have armrest. You can see it's going to sit about the height of the Trekology chair, slightly higher, but you have a backrest. And the cool thing is you also have a little bit of padding on the head where you can just relax back, set your feet out, have your armrest. And then you have a nice little cup holder here, which is much more durable than these little things uh, that Trekology has. Plus you have a nice little pocket underneath here that has some Velcro, where if you wanted to actually store things, say like uh, if you wanted to have like for me, uh, maybe you get the chocolate for s'mores or something you want to just store it down there or maybe a flashlight something like that you can put it there and let it hang through if you don't want to use it there's velcro underneath you just push it up and it stays up there it doesn't interfere so pretty cool with that so that is the king camp chair and it's durable and you can rec recline back pretty easily but the cool thing that i like about this chair is the armrest. You don't get a chair very often as compact for camping like that with the armrest. So pretty cool. The King Camp High Slingback Chair is a great chair that is portable, lightweight, and also pretty compact. Yet it can expand and fold out into a normal sized chair that also has armrest and a headrest. It weighs in at 3.7 pounds and has a weight capacity of 365 pounds. In its pack size, it is about 20 inches by 6 inches by 4 inches. In its unfolded dimensions, it's about 26 inches by 33 inches by 40 inches. The primary uses I see this chair for is for camping and overlanding. While it's advertised as an ultralight backpacking chair at 3.7 pounds, that's going to be a pretty heavy chair to put in your backpack. Now for me who uses uh, a backpack with a base weight of 12 pounds total, uh, this would be almost a quarter of the weight if I went with that. So this is not the chair that I would choose for backpacking. Instead I would go with the Helinox Chair Zero. But when it comes to camping and overlanding, this is an excellent chair. The High Slingback Chair sells for $67 on Broadout.com. But for an extra 22 bucks, you can get the upgraded version that has an adjustable backrest. This one really has me intrigued as it also has additional padding and it's not too much more in the weight category. So I would love to get my hands and test out this one. But for now, the high slingback chair that I have here is my go-to for overlanding. Now we're gonna compare that to the King Camp chair here. As you can see, relatively good height from the table. You can play cards, you can have dinner here, you have your armrest, you have your cup holder. If you wanna lean back and just relax from a, a tough day, you have your high uh, slingback. And the cool thing about the high slingback is you can go ahead and recline back and you have support for your head plus some padding, so some extra comfort from this chair. So overall, with the package, with the lightweightness, but all these cool features like armrest and the, the support for your head, uh, pretty hard to beat when it comes to camping and overlanding. So you can see why it's my personal pick. All right, so let's now check out the typical uh, tailgating chair that I have here. And we'll set this up really easily. All right, the pro of this chair is it's easy to pop up. You have armrests, you have cup holders, and it's sturdy but it's big, it's bulky, and it's not ideal if you're trying to make room in your Jeep. If you're going to a soccer game, great chair, but for me, a little too bulky. Considering these four chairs, the Helinox chair is a great chair for backpacking. It's lightweight, it's compact, 
but it's way too small when it comes to camping and overlanding. I personally want something that is propped up a little higher. The Trekology chair is slightly better in that it can be adjustable at the feet, but it also is too small in certain areas with no armrest or headrest. The typical pop-up chair is one that is nice when it's all set up, but you also have to deal with the heavy weight and the bulkiness of storing it in the car. The King Camp High Slingback Chair has all the cool features of a full-size chair, yet in a small, compact design. It's lightweight, it has armrests, it also has a headrest as well in the back that has some padding, so pretty neat as well. So all the cool features for something to have for overlanding or camping, so this is the perfect chair for me. Now when it comes to chairs for overlanding and camping, there are several things I look for. One, I want something that doesn't keep me so close to the ground, kind of like a backpacking chair does. While this is lightweight and while it can uh, have a good chair to sit at while I backpack and everything, it's great for my back, but when it comes to camping and overlanding, weight is not so much of an issue. But size is. Size is an issue for me, and that's why I wouldn't take something so big like this because it's going to take up a lot of room in my Jeep. So I want something compact, relatively lightweight, but can do all the necessary things that typical chairs can do. So that led me ultimately to choosing between uh, these two chairs, a Trekology chair and this King Camp chair. Now let's consider the pros of the King Camp chair. First off, the pro that I like about it is it's relatively compact. Now when it comes to storing things in my Jeep, this fits really nicely on my shelf in the back there and so I can store it pretty easily and its stool doesn't take up tons of room or anything, but I always have a go-to chair that's going to do everything I need it to. Another pro about it is it's relatively uh, affordable. It comes under $70, which is pretty cool. And if you go on Broadout, you can often find them on specials uh, on there as well. And you have a lot of dependability within the chair. It's going to uphold a lot of weight. You have the armrest as well. You have a nice little cup holder there, which is cool features that you get in a you know big chair like this, but in a relatively small package. So pretty cool for that. Another pro is it has some light padding around the headrest area, which is nice if you ever wanted to sit back a little bit. You have a little extra cushion there uh, so you can relax while you're at the campsite. Another pro is that it's pretty stable. So as I'm sitting down, even when I'm in uh, sandy areas or I'm in hard ground, it's a pretty stable chair, relatively well balanced. It does have these little knobs feet at the bottom so if it did get into sandy areas it would sink in a little bit but then those knobs would prevent it from sinking down any further unlike what you have with the Helinox chair which definitely sinks down and you have to buy an additional pad just to prevent that from happening if you're in sandy areas. Another pro about this chair is it's pretty durable. From my testing, you have this tear resistant fabric that's really durable and it's not going to rip or tear very easily. Also, you have anti-rot uh, aluminum posts here for the legs and everything. So it's lightweight, yet it's very dependable. So it can also hold up to, up to 330 pounds is what's advertised. Now, I have no way of testing that out. I'm relatively lightweight, but um, that's pretty pretty awesome if it's able to do that for sure. Now let's consider the cons. The first con for me obviously has to do with the size and weight. It's actually advertised on their website as a backpacking chair. Now my suggestion is that they would change that to an overlanding camping chair, not backpacking, because this comes in just on over 3.5 pounds plus the dimensions of this is about the size of a backpack. So if you want to have a chair take up most of the room in your backpack and you want it to have at least a quarter of the weight then yeah go with this chair but for me that's unthinkable i'd rather have the helinox chair zero which is only one pound and it's relatively small and lightweight and uh, but when it comes to overlanding when it comes to camping weight and size isn't that big of an issue i want something compact which this checks all the boxes for but weight isn't that big of an issue because it's sitting in my Jeep, not resting on my back. So that's why I use this for my camping and overlanding and not backpacking. Now another con is it's not able to recline. That would have been a really cool feature. Um, I really want to check out that new, new chair that they do have out. That's uh, for an extra 30 bucks. You can get that one and it can actually recline a little bit. It's adjustable backrest. So I want to check that out for sure. That might become the new chair depending on how it compares to the testing with this one. 
So what did you think about my selections for my camping and overlanding needs? I like something compact, relatively lightweight, but not something that's so far down to the ground where I can't enjoy or even sit at a table, kind of like this backpacking chair. It's great for backpacking, and I'm gonna review that here shortly, but it's not ideal for overlanding and camping. Now, something like this is way too big for me. I wouldn't even consider it. it takes too much room in my Jeep. These two are kind of the better options for me. So the chair for me, that one, is the King Camp High Slingback Chair, and it's because the pros outweigh the cons. You're getting a pretty much a full capability chair in a small, compact package that's lightweight and affordable perfect for overlanding and camping. So what did you think of these chairs? Would you choose the King Camp chair or would you choose something else? Let me know in the comments. If you like what you saw, also make sure to subscribe and make sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.